Hi, library friends. I'm Miss Connie from the Help Hope Branch. Welcome to another edition of our virtual new book display program. Today, we're going to look at new easy readers. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you that you can access our online catalog and place a hold through our website, which is mcl.org. Once your holds are ready to be picked up, you will be notified and you can call your branch to set up an appointment for a curbside pickup. In addition to curbside, starting October 5th, we will have limited hours and limited capacity for patrons to come into the library and make their book selections. Easy readers are a really important collection in our library as they help bridge the gap between picture books and chapter books for our emerging readers. The easy readers are separated by levels, but you'll find that all publishers have different standards for these levels. Within each level, a book by one publisher may be slightly easier or more difficult than another publisher. But generally speaking, lower levels have more pictures and less words, and the higher levels have more words and less pictures. If you have any questions about picking the right book for your reader, we encourage you to call the Youth Services Librarians at your branch, and we would be happy to help you. Today, we'll look at some new easy readers that we have in the library. Each one of these books is part of a series, so if you like them, there are more to take out. And most of these books are available as books, as e-books or e-audio books. You will be able to see these options in the online catalog. Our first easy reader is a King and Kayla book. If you've been watching all of these uh, new book display videos, you'll know that Bob News mentioned this book in the next in a previous video, but I wanted to offer some additional information. Uh, our first book is King and Kayla and the Case of the Unhappy Neighbor. Written by Dory Hillestep Butler and illustrated by Nancy Mayers. A lovable dog helps his human girl solve a mystery. Thor has been accused of wrecking Mr. Gary's yard, knocking over trash cans, eating the vegetables out of the garden, and pooping. But King and Kayla, with the help of some other neighbors, are determined to clear his name using a wide variety of familiar and new detecting skills. With simple, straightforward language and great verbal and visual humor, the King and Kayla series is perfect for the newly independent reader. And if you think you might like this series, you can go back to our YouTube channel to see our summer author study program on Dory Hillestat Butler and listen to her read the entire book of King and Kayla and the Case of the Missing Dog Treats. I am a big fan of this series and I think you will be too. Next is Pete the Kitty and the Unicorn's Missing Colors, written by Kim Dean and James Dean, and illustrated by James Dean. Pete the Kitty's friend Stevie, the Unicorn, somehow lost all the colors in her rainbow tail. It's a good thing Pete has his magical paintbrush to help out. Together, they search for the missing colors of the rainbow. Osborne Phonics reader, Goose on the Loose, written by Phil Roxby Cox, illustrated by Stephen Cartwright and edited by Jenny Tyler. Goose is running amok on her scooter, irritating the other barnyard animals. There are three pages from this series in our catalog, and I just wanted to mention that if you type in Usborne Phonics readers, you will be able to get the full list. The Berenstain Bears and the Ghost of the Theater, written and illustrated by Mike Berenstain. When brother, sister, and honey need a summer job, they see that the old theater in town is hiring. The theater is dark and spooky and full of strange things. What will they find? Amelia Bedelia, Lost and Found, written by Herman Parrish and illustrated by Lynn Avril. Amelia Bedelia loses her tooth, and then she loses it again, but it's finders keepers in the end. Swim, Mo Swim. This book is written by David A. Adler and illustrated by Sam Ricks. On field day, Mo swims a lot faster than he knew he could, 
not because his team might win, but because a fish keeps nibbling his toe. Hamster Holmes, Afraid of the Dark, written by Albin Sater, and it illustrated by Valerio Fabretti. Hamster Holmes and his firefly sidekick, Dr. Watt, have a new case. They are staying in a hotel in town that might be haunted. Will Hamster Holmes get to the bottom of this mystery, or will it keep him up at night? From the Boxcar Children's series, we have The Woodshed Mystery, written by Gertrude Chandler Warner and illustrated by Shane Cluster. On a farm, the Aldens find their oldest mystery yet. This is adapted from Gertrude Chandler Warner's story of the same name. This early reader allows children to start reading with a boxcar classic. So you have the easy readers and the boxcar chapter books. The Case of the Icky Ice Cream, written and illustrated by Dosh Archer. Detective Paw, a dog, and his porcupine partner, Patrol Officer Prickles, are on the case when someone replaces ice cream parlor owner F Floella Flufftail's famous raspberry syrup with ketchup. Yikes. From the series CC Love Science, we have the new title, Push and Pull written by Kimberly Durding and Shelley R. Johannes, and illustrated by Vashti Harrison. Cece and her classmates use physics to build treat dispensers for Cece's dog, Einstein. It includes a glossary and activities using the forces of push and pull. I am Cleopatra, written by Brooke Vitale. Xavier wants to stay up all night to see a supermoon but he doesn't know how to ask his parents. Luckily, the secret museum sends him to meet Cleopatra, and she teaches him how to ask for things the right way. This episode-based Penguin Young Reader is perfect for emerger, emerging readers. I hope you've enjoyed this virtual book display. If so, there's a specific playlist for this program on our YouTube channel, which you can access at mcl.org. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.